All right, it is that wonderful time. So for those of you who have never watched one of our classic movie reviews on the Silver Screen Dudes before, here's how it essentially works. I go and find out what movies are 10, 20, 30 or older. 20, 10, 20, 30 years old or indeed older. But AJ doesn't know what the movie is we're going to talk about. You all do, of course, because you've seen the title of the video, you've clicked on it, but the reaction you're going to see here from AJ is first time stuff. He doesn't know what movie we're going to talk about now. I know he's seen this one though. AJ, we're not going back 10 years, but we are going back 20 years. Okay. Fun. It's not too old. Oh. AJ, she's down on her knees. Mm. Fiona and me. <laughs> Daddy doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. She tells him she's in church, but she doesn't know. Now she's down on her knees and Scotty doesn't know. Your ship is 20 years old, bro. <laughs> now, can I be real? If you are watching this before you've watched our live top 10, the amount this of times I was like, after the live top 10. I mean, this is recorded after from our angle. However, what I'm getting at is the amount of times I was like, does Eurotrip have a scene in Paris? Because I was so tempted to put that in our top 10 from Paris. <laughs> it is so fitted that this is there. Right. Eurotrip, here's the thing, and I'm always going to say this. I don't rate Road Trip. I thought Road Trip was the absolute B-tech, absolute B-tech American pie. Of course. And I always saw Euro Trip. I felt like it was meant to be like a, a, a sequel of something. And I've always remembered this, and I'll, I'll shout out the BBC for this. It randomly appears on BBC Two. And I think it came on after The Apprentice. And I'm like, let me go. Let me, oh my God, let me just give it a shot, whatever. I remember from watching that, me and my brother having the biggest hysterics thinking, what the F is this film? It is absolutely hilarious in the best ways possible. I love this film. I love every moment I get, every opportunity I have to talk about this film. It is such you, an be underrated happy. comedy. It is unreal. Absolutely unreal. I love this film. I knew you'd be happy about this. Eurotrip is a... The premise of it is a case of mistaken identity. So the lead character, I can't even remember, it's 20 years old, but I know it's great. So the lead character has this pen pal called Mike. He thinks his name is Mike. And he's writing to Mike, he's chatting to him. Oh yeah, you know, we'll hang out, yada, 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 pen pal staying in touch. Little does he know that Mike is not a he. Mike is actually Mika, and she's a really, really hot E, unfortunately, because our lead character is a linguistic ignoramus, he writes to Micah, don't ever contact me again, you sick, twisted German freaky deaky freak, and then realizes after he sent that, oh, Damn, it's a hot girl. It's the hot girl from the photo. It's not the big man from the photo. It's the hot girl from the photo. Oh, my God, what have I done? And so he takes his mate and goes on an epic trip across Europe that takes them to places like the UK. They do definitely go to France. They go to Bratislava. They go to Italy. They go to, all, they go to the Vatican. They go to all sorts of mad places to try and find and restore this pen pal micah along the way we encounter nudist beaches miss Cozy, train rides little kiddie adolf hitler sieg heil walk-alongs the green fairy oh by the way aj here's a fun fact about bratislava you made it with your sister <laughs> incest in eastern incest in eastern europe the sort of things that in the year of our father, 2024, you just couldn't get away with now. And you know what? It is so much better for that. 
Would you like to see the trailer? Hit me, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Funny thing is, I don't know if I've ever watched the trailer because Eurotrip was something I avoided because I thought it was a road trip sequel. So I don't, this might be fresh eyes for me. I got you, brother. I got you. Let's do this. Oh, good old Eurotrip. Here we go. Big window and play. For centuries, Europe has offered American tourists its culture, its yes. culinary arts, and its mime. Can we please just get out of here? It's really creeping me out. Uh, 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 now, uh, 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 it's pain time. <laughs> <laughs> two friends, two twins, eight countries. Europe. You know there are a lot of other empty compartments. Gee, you can hear the music in the background. What, what the hell are you doing? It's cool, it's cool. Oh, no, 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 Big tunnel. Big tunnel. Oh, no, 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 Absent. It's illegal in the States because it makes you go crazy. They call it the Green Fairy. Jamie's hooking up with another girl. Oh my God! Here's a fun fact. You made out with your sister, man! <laughs> that is just wrong. <laughs> it says here this town has a famous nude beach. Let the crazy European sex odyssey begin. Lady! There's no nude girls here. It's just guys like us looking for nude girls. <laughs> Cook with a hat. The hat. The hat is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the mud. Bloody out of you. We're from Ohio. Oh God. Oh God. Hammer time. Hammer. Oh God. Oh God. These are magical. I am freaking out. Yeah, she helped Let us make love for one whole month. Mi bello. Mi bello. Mi bello. Mi scusi. Oh, mi scusi. <laughs> the trailer just says it. This film is absolute gold. This film is a un- Earth gem. I don't think this film has enough praise. I don't think this film has enough praise, and I feel it's because of Road Trip. I feel people feel like it was a sad sequel, but it's nothing to do with Road Trip. It's it's really it, isn't it? People thought it was kind of like a spoof of Road Trip, and it's like it's so superior, it's crazy. Yeah. Even when they're going to the nudist beach, they, you know, the joke they missed out on there is that on three, two, one, pull your pants down. Three, two, one, only one pulls his pants down. They go, ha ha, look at Jamie's penis. <laughs> it's, it's little stuff like that that you know guys would absolutely do it to rib on each other. It just fucking works, man. Oh, there's me swearing. I'm sorry. Uh, AJ, edit, please. Yeah, all I can say, guys, is understand we're doing this after we've done a drunk rush war. It's not the right time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the right time for your own trip. <laughs> Dude, it, it's... They don't make comedies like this anymore. I wish they did, but they just don't. What's, what's your score to this, AJ? I'm torn. It's definitely two thumbs up, but I'm torn. Yes. If it, I'm definitely torn if it, if it belongs in goat territory. Now, the reason I'm, I'm torn about putting it in goat territory is because when it comes to raunchy teens, American Pie is my 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 absolute thing. Yeah. So that's the only reason. But the insane comedy is second to none. So for that, I, I'm going to stick with it. That my principle is American Pie is the goat of this this genre and this era. But it is definitely two thumbs up. I'm going to very much echo that. I think a comedy of any level, when you're talking about putting it in goat territory, that means it's going up there with the likes of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, 40-Year-Old Virgin, The Hangover, The Old Charlie Chaplins, Laurel and Hardy. It's not the um, American Pie. It's not that level, but goddamn. 
it's a two thumbs up from me. I would say that if you are someone who is starved of comedies, especially if you're a younger viewer who hasn't necessarily seen the older comedies like this, go and try it out. It very well might be that if you've been raised through the prism of, you know, more liberal sensibilities in the 21st century, which does happen, you know, the way we're raised and the way our culture cultures evolve very much influences the way we react to things like comedy. So it might be that, that it might be too on the nose for you, you know, the making out with the sister thing. Hey, that might not resonate with you. But God damn, if you're a kid of the 90s, this is going to work for you. And I want to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah. Euro trip. Absolutely. Up or down? Double Absolutely. thumbs up, pass, goat. Where do you guys put this movie? Let us know. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Do give the video a like if you want to support two struggling YouTube artists on their movie journey. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys very soon for more classic reviews right here on the Silver Screen Dudes.